In this video, I show you how I easily put together a Thunderbolt 3 dual 4K ProRes capture enclosure. You don't want to miss this. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. How's it going ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. I have something very exciting I want to show you guys. This is the Echo Express SE3 from our friends over at Sonnet who make excellent Thunderbolt 3 enabled hardware. Uh, this particular device is a triple, I almost said dual, this is a triple PCIe enclosure with three PCIe slots that allow you to connect multiple PCIe devices to your Mac simultaneously via a single Thunderbolt 3 connection. Pretty awesome. Now, considering that there's all types of PCIe cards out there, that opens up a lot of possibilities. We're going to explore one of those major possibilities here in this video, as I've already alluded to at the outset. So this is everything you get inside the box, including this manual, which is extremely verbose. If you don't know anything about this enclosure going into it, this will help you get up to speed rather quickly. But you don't really need this manual because it's a super simple setup. I'm going to walk you through all that right now. So along with the enclosure and power accessories, you get this right here, a Thunderbolt 3 cable for connecting the enclosure to your Mac. You also get this Thunder Lock adapter that locks the Thunderbolt 3 cable to the chassis so it doesn't accidentally come out, which is great. And of course you have the power brick right here, the power supply and the power cable that goes along with that. And that simply plugs into the back using a barrel style connector. And here is the chassis itself, the Sonnet Echo Express 3. You can see three PCIe slots on the back. Uh, otherwise a very simple enclosure. We're going to open it up and explore it here. Now the Echo Express SE3 is not designed for graphics cards. So it's not an eGPU, it doesn't have the power supply to drive a typical graphics card. In fact, most graphics cards won't even fit inside this enclosure. But that doesn't mean that this enclosure isn't useful because it is. Let me uh, go ahead and take the screws off there and we'll slide the inner chassis from the outer chassis and here's what's inside. So of course you have the three PCIe slots with that Thunderbolt 3 interface. You also have a Noctua fan, which is going to be super quiet. That is a detail I was not expecting going into this, and that is awesome. Now, all of the PCIe slots are X8 mechanical slots, but only two of them, the bottom two, are X8 electrical slots. So just keep that in mind when it comes to performance. Now, here's my old capture setup with two eGPUs. Obviously not a pretty setup, right? We're going to replace that with just this box alone. Let me show you how we're going to do it. Okay, so I have these two Decklink Mini Recorder 4Ks from Blackmagic. These are excellent little capture cards that feature 6G SDI and HDMI 2.0 connectivity. So it's going to be perfect for my setup connecting my two cameras directly to this enclosure via HDMI. So we're just going to install both. We're installing both in the X8 slots. These are actually X4 cards, so you can install it in either of the three slots. So here it is, folks, the rear of the chassis with the inputs, you can see ready to go. So now it's just a matter of closing up this enclosure using the outer portion of the chassis like that and locking it down with the four screws again. Super simple install only takes just a few minutes. And uh, yeah, so we're ready to go now, folks. All right, so now it's time to connect our camera. So I have the overhead camera, I'm gonna plug this in here. And then my floor camera, I'm gonna plug that here. And we're gonna plug in the Thunderbolt 3 cable. And as you can see, it is a dual Thunderbolt 3 enclosure. So you can daisy chain with this enclosure, which is awesome. All right, so we have it plugged in. You see the power light on front, not overly bright, which is a good thing, but I'm gonna keep this guy on the floor anyway, so it doesn't really matter right underneath my uh, camera setup. So here we go, folks. That is the Sonnet Echo Express SE3 with two Decklink 4K mini recorder cards inside. And these are gonna be fed by two Sony a7III's 4K, 30 frames per second. And the goal is to capture both feeds simultaneously using ProRes 422 HQ right on my iMac Pro. And speaking of which, the iMac Pro has the sort of bandwidth to be able to accommodate such a setup, whereas lesser machines may not. 
So we're gonna load up Blackmagic Media Express. It's an okay application, not great, doesn't have a lot of customization options, but it works. And that's the main thing, it works, it's pretty solid. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. So we're gonna load up actually two instances, one for the overhead camera, as you can see here, one for the floor camera. So I have both running at the same time, no latency at all, but here's the real key. Can we capture both simultaneously? So we're capturing right now ProRes 422 HQ with the floor camera. We're gonna do the same thing with the overhead camera right now. So we're capturing, as you can see, both at the same time. And I have to admit folks, that's really cool. It's really cool. All right, so we're capturing all this locally right here on the iMac Pro. And I have more pieces to this setup. I can explain that in a future video. If you wanna see more videos on this setup, please let me know, leave me a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comment section telling me that you wanna see more. And I'll be sure to, to flesh out this whole setup and let you know what else is going on behind the scenes. But as you can see, We've just captured this video with this Echo Express slash Blackmagic deck link combo. I'm gonna stop the recording here and let me go into the preferences just to show you what options are available to capture. So you have ProRes 422 HQ. You also have uncompressed options as well and other ProRes options. All right, so we're gonna just play back here and there's what it looks like. But let me show you the actual file. So here it is, the overhead and the front camera just like that. And you can easily sync these files in post if you want to using Final Cut Pro 10 or your NLE of choice. One last thing, you have the Thunder Lock, which I showed you at the outset during the unboxing, a good way to secure your Thunderbolt 3 cable so it doesn't come out. For more details, check the links down below. And also let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about this setup. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.